Cliff, which is a balance between man-made cover and natural cover. Um, a very factory fresh type of map. Well, not factory fresh, but there's definitely factory areas involved as we get to the ship callouts. Here we go. Ship number one is the fancy Hydra piloted by Dementio. We have a uh, Mobula here. We've got a Mercury up top with a double Artemis on the bottom and a Gatling and a Hades on the wings. A little interesting there. Uh, ship number two is the Pretado piloted by Spudnik, a watch a fish with double side Caro. Ship number three. That's the Reborn piloted by Sundstrom. We have a Mercury Mobula with double Artemis bottom, Gatling, and a flare on the wings. And ship number four, that is the Duel of Fates piloted by Zedion. We've got a, uh, looks like a Metagallion here. Yes, will be a Metagallion. Watch a Carinade on one side. We have a Lumberjack and a Flak on the other side with a Hades and a flare on the back. So it looks like... Uh, <laughs> Go figure, we have a match in which we have a watch with fish with double side Caro. That is not Zedion ship, so go figure that one, of course. Zedion does occasionally like to run that uh, that galleon there, so not abnormal to see him run that. Uh, uh, this is prob it's probably his second most run ship, if I would guess right now, but, you know, again, you see him every once in a while on that galleon as red starting to get spots out. Looks like blue knows where Predtado is. They just don't have the spot yet, but they know where he is. Now they've got the spot. Fancy Hydra kind of taking its time getting into position. Pragtado most likely is the bait here to get Fancy Hydra in the door, or at least get them the position they're looking for. Fancy Hydra, however, will not have the cloud cover they're looking for to uh, fully get in the door. They're, they're going to get spotted here. They will get spotted. Most likely here in just a moment. However, it looks like uh, Duel of Fates and Reborn, they're going to be behind hard cover. They're not going to see him just yet. Oh, they'll see him now. They'll see him now. As he has peeked around that corner, looks like Blue is fully spotted. Pretado spotted. Fancy Hydra not spotted. Now they're spotted. Here we go with the first engagement of SCS number 151. Let's actually watch the Pretado here moving around the corner. They're moving for... Oh, they're moving for that flanking corner. A good move right here by the Pretado. Like the flanking idea. Fancy Hydra is going to move up here any second. Let's swing that on back. It's going to swing around here with the Fancy Hydra. About to move around that corner. Here he comes. Keep an eye right here as Fancy Hydra opening fire on the Duel at Fates. Reborn backing up. Is this about to be a 2v1 on the Duel at Fates? Looks like Pretado's decided to go around the front this time. Uh, they've decided not to go around the back door with Reborn backing up. Probably a smart decision here as the Watcha goes out. That is a good Watcha right there picking up three guns. Three, four, five components. All of the heavy guns down. That's going to get Pretado in the door. Fancy Hydra should have something to work with as well. As the... Oh, Fancy Hydra with a Hydrogen there. Looks like they're going for the Reborn here. Yes, they are going for the Reborn here. Let's swing it back around as shots going out. Looks like Duel of Fates is trying to body block for the uh, for the Reborn. In fact, does so with that balloon. Fancy Hydra forced to go down. That's going to get them out of the arcs that they want. Blue needs to maintain uh, height advantage. In fact, both teams need to maintain height advantage to really uh, do a number on the other side, especially with those Mobulas in play. Uh, there is a... Oh, a t oh, that is a terrible watcher right there. Duel at Fates trying to shoot its own <laughs> its own Mobula. Not the best idea there. <laughs> Not the best idea. These things happen, though. A poor Watcha going out. That may cost Duel at Fates. However, Duel at Fates might have something lined up here. No, Fancy Hydra getting above the Duel at Fates. Looks like that's going to uh, invite the Fancy Hydra and Reborn to go 1v1 at each other. Hydra currently has height advantage. Pretado now going to move for the Reborn. A smart play, in my opinion. Side Carinade going out from the Pretado. Watcher should be coming out any second. That is a Lock Cat going out on the Pretado. That is not staying in arc, though. Reborn diving. Pretado hole broken, but there goes the Watcher. Follow up. First hole break of SCS number 151. Actually, no, second hole break. As the Reborn hole broken once again, Pretado uh, trying to do a number on the Reborn. Fancy Hydra might have to clean that up, though. Reborn not in a good spot right now. Uh, watch going out on the Fancy Hydra. Both Predtado and Reborn trying to Hydro. Uh, Reborn not getting the better of that. Their balloon is partially down. In fact, that balloon is completely down right now. That's why they're not getting the better of that engagement. Mobulas themselves definitely need that balloon to dodge to get into position. That is their biggest asset and also their greatest weakness. As there's the hole break on the Reborn, that should be a kill. Indeed, it is 1-0 in favor of Red. 
Of course, if you get first blood, you have a tiebreaker advantage. So if we get into overtime, if we have a tie game at the end of uh, at the end of the match, that means that Red will win the match. Fiends Cloud Dancers with that uh, first blood advantage as Duel at Fate's not in a good spot right now. They are four guns down right now. Uh, about to be hole broken, about to be balloon broken. In fact, they are hole broken. That's a hole break right there. There's a balloon break right there. Five guns down. That's not a good spot for them to be. That should be a kill any minute. Probably on the next hole break, that will be a kill, most likely. There is a hole break right there. That balloon's still broken. There it is. Indeed, 2-0 in favor of red. Pred Tato. Uh, with just a scratch on the paint job, Fancy Hydra, Factory Fresh still, still doing well. Red in prime position to, uh, to take full advantage of this opportunity here to, to move on to the next round. Red up 2-0 with barely a scratch. Blue should be respawning any minute here. Of course, as we press M to uh, look at the map here, uh, we wait for Blue spawn. As red spreading out right now, blue has spawned. Uh oh, blue has spawned with. Oh, blue has spawned right out in the open. Fancy Hydra might have something to look at here. In fact, there are spots going out. Blue finally getting to their guns. Uh, looks like red should have first shot. Indeed, they do. Fancy Hydra getting the uh, getting the merc out, but missing with that mercury. Meanwhile, the Predator moving in with an aggressive line right there on the on the galleon. A very aggressive move. Uh, going in between both ships, probably for the best, trying to get the back of the uh, Duel of Fates. Now they're trying to get the back of the Reborn. That will probably be lining up the Reborn. In fact, they are lining up the Reborn is the Pretado. However, they instead decide to go for the Duel of Fates. A bit of a surprising decision there to go for the Duel of Fates. Now they save part of that clip for the Reborn. As Fancy Hydra deciding, oh, let's just go ahead and take some pot shots. Let's just go ahead and take some pot shots with that uh, Hades. Trying to force Reborn down. Pretado forcing the Reborn down. But not through a balloon pop, as Fancy Hydra currently nearly balloon broken. Uh, this might be advantage... Uh, oh, wait a minute. This might be advantage blue right here, as we have hole breaks imminent on both red ships. Pretado getting a hydro, a hydro out there to save themselves. However, Fancy Hydra is balloon and hole broken. That's not good for them. That's going to lead to a 2v1 on the Pretado as they are hole broken. Uh, Pretado still hole broken. Uh, Duel at Fates, however, not in position. That hide, uh, that uh, excuse me, that watcher going out on the reborn. Looks like Duel at Fates content to basically uh, park the Hydra. They need that hole break on the Hydra to really do something right there. If that Hydra gets hole broken, they should be down. In fact, there's a hole break right there. If that flak comes out, that should be GG for the Hydra. That flak, however, is missing. No, it does connect with the clutch rebuild on the uh, on the Hydra. The clutch rebuild of the hull saves them. However, Riz oh, that's going to get a hole break on the duel at fate, so they are going to get some perma hole before they go down. Looks like uh, Fancy Hydra desperate to do anything here as Reborn is almost balloon broken. Pretado's hole broken. Fancy Hydra staying alive. By staying alive, they are uh, they are able to do a little bit of perma hole damage. Tiger uppercut attempt on the uh, Reborn. No, they missed the Tiger uppercut. However, it looks like they got two ships on the Reborn. A good job right there. Good teamwork by Red to get the Reborn. Fancy Hydra hole broken, balloon broken. Oh, but no follow-up because Hydra has height advantage over Reborn. They can't get those Artemi into Ark. Pretado getting the Huacha onto the Duel at Fates. There's a hole break on the Reborn. Looks like Hydra getting that clutch rebuild is going to pay dividends for Red. Again, extra hull damage that could come back in their favor later on. Not a whole lot of hull damage, but you know what? That could come back in their favor as there's a hole break on the Reborn. Hydra's engineers doing a fantastic job, and they get the Reborn down to about 5% perma before they go down. Job well done by Red Ship number one, which is, of course, the fancy Hydra. Gotta give them credit for that. Gotta give them credit for that clutch. That got them a lot of perma hole on the Reborn. Got a scratch on the paint job of the Duel at Fates as well. So that you gotta call worth at that point if you're red. You gotta call worth, even though they lose the engagement. Uh, that could have gone a lot worse for them. So they get something out of nothing. As the Predtado now trying to run. Looks like they will get uh, hard cover before they... Uh, yeah, they will get hard cover before they lose their hull. So, no harm, no foul for the uh, Predtado. Good, good job right there by the Mobula, though. Again, good job by the Mobula saving themselves uh, as long as they did. As shots go out from the Fancy Hydra, they're taking pot shots at the Duel at Fates with that Mercury. Let's keep an eye on the Fancy Hydra right now as the Pretado content right now 
to stay in their cover, probably for the best, as they need the Fancy Hydra to move up. They really need them to move up before they make their move. However, Pretado looks like they might take a peek around the corner here. Looks like they're going to try to see if anyone's trying to flank them here. They're going to round that corner. They're going to see Duel at Fates, indeed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is Pretado moving in aggressively here? Fancy Hydra not in arc just yet. Pretado uh, taking an aggressive line right now towards the Duel at Fates. Uh, this is going to be a 1v2 for about five more seconds before the Fancy Hydra turns that corner. Reborn turns the corner, sees the Predtado. Uh, however, Fancy Hydra now in arc, now with line of sight. Shots going out on the Reborn. Looks like they tried to get the Fancy Hydra into, ar uh, into range here. Or at least uh, with line of sight. By getting the... Oh, but the Fancy Hydra's been balloon broken. Uh, Reborn trying desperately to keep that hole up. Watch a follow-up on the Predtado, by the Predtado onto the Reborn. Side Karinate trying to do some work on the Reborn. If they get that hole break, Reborn is as good as dead. Pretado pushing the Reborn back. Meanwhile, Fancy Hydra trying to... Uh, oh, there's the kill right there by the Pretado. 3-1, and Fancy Hydra sacrifice comes into play right there. Fancy Hydra sacrificing themselves earlier for the good of the team. That save uh, earlier on got 95% perma, and Pretado cleans it up right there. That's going to potentially put Duel of Fate in a 1-4 in a situation. Hole break should be imminent. There's the hole break right there. And there's the Huacha. That should do it. Even if they save that, uh, even if they save the uh, ship. Oh, the the uh, Artemis cleans it up by the Fancy Hydra 4-1. And again, I can't point that out enough. Fancy Hydra saving themselves set up that whole engagement earlier. So, well done once again by the engineers. That would be uh, Exterminator and and Jake as well. Both of them doing a fantastic job of uh, setting that whole engagement up by saving themselves earlier. Meanwhile, Blue looking to see what they're going to do here. What is Blue going to do to turn this around as Predtado is down to about 80% perma, roughly? Uh, still no scratch on the paint job of the Hydra. They are at 100%. Um, as Reborn spawns in, looks like we got our spawns coming out here. As, oh, Duel at Fate splits off and goes in a different direction here. They spawn right in on the Hydra. Was that a miscommunication there? Was that a miscommunication, or are they trying to get the re... Oh, my goodness. Pretado says, thank you very much. Have a hide, uh, have a uh, Huacha right there. As Fancy Hydra diving in, I believe that was a miscommunication right there. That's going to be a hole break on the duel at Fates. Reborn not in position to assist. That This could be very deadly. This could be the match right here, folks. This could be the match. Duel at Fates is hole broken once again. There's the Huacha. They do camp that hole. There's another hole break. That's a kill right there. That is it. 5-1 in favor of Red. Red, of course, is uh, Fancy Cloud Dancers. They win the first match of SCS number 151.